Cold Blooded Army. Today we're looking at Matthew 14, 19, and this is a perfect one going into the holidays. This is the one where Jesus was speaking to the group. It says there are about 5,000 men, and that does not include women and children, so probably 15, maybe 20,000 people, and they were hungry. And so they had uh, five loaves of bread and two fish to feed 15, 20,000 people. And Jesus took them, and this is beautiful. It says the first thing that he did is he lifted them up and he gave thanks. And out of that, after giving thanks, he fed everyone. And he fed everyone so much that there was food left over. And so sometimes it's hard for us to imagine things like that. Sometimes it is, you know, we focus on what we don't have instead of what we do. But even with Jesus, the first thing he did when he didn't have enough was to give thanks for what he did have and to multiply. And going into the holidays, dealing with finances, dealing with family, dealing with gifts and everything, sometimes it is hard to look at everything that we have. But I encourage you, whatever it is that you have, to give thanks. Because why would God ever give you more if you don't give thanks? As a parent, I see that all the time. We're in the store, my kids want stuff, and I have no problem saying yes. But after four or five things, and they still ask for more without saying thank you, I kind of cut it off. And God's a father, too, so he gets it. And he gives way more than we ever can. But we have to be appreciative. We have to show thanks. That's not showing thanks because we want more. showing thanks because it's the right thing to do. Because we appreciate what we have. And out of the overflow of our hearts, our mouths should speak. And we've been blessed so much, no matter what things look like right now, that's just time to give thanks. So no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter what it looks like, give thanks and be amazed at what God's going to do for you. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. If there's everything I can do for you, let me know. I love you guys. I'll catch you next time. And until then, may be blessed to be a blessing to those around you.